Welcome to No Skinny Cooks. Today we'll be making an Irish American favorite for dinner, corned beef and cabbage. This is one of my family's favorites and it's one of those dinners that seem complicated and that presents really well, but the reality is, is that it's one of the easiest dinners to make. Really all it takes is time. The ingredients are really simple, a corned beef and a bunch of root vegetables and a head of cabbage. Other than chopping up the veggies, there's not a lot of prep involved and you can get right to the cooking. Now the way to the best, most tender corned beef is low heat and a long, long, slow simmer. We're going to be simmering ours for about an hour for every pound of brisket. We're going to start by quartering an onion. Using a Dutch oven, take the onion and break it up and put part of it in the bottom of the pan. Now it's up to you whether you want to wash your brisket. I always do because I want to get the um, excess salt off of it. So just run it under cold water and, and rinse it off and uh, get it ready to go in the pot. Next, take your corned beef brisket and place it on top of the onions. Take the remaining onion and sprinkle them around the edges. Most corned beef briskets come with a spice packet. Whether you use it or not is completely optional. Personally, I like to use it because I think it adds a little bit of extra flavor. But it is completely optional. You can use it or not. Be sure to place the brisket in the pan the fat side up and sprinkle the seasoning packet onto the fat. Next, you're going to cover the meat with either water or chicken broth. I use a mix of both. I use about half chicken broth and half water. Cover it until it's just, just covered with the liquid. Note that I'm pouring it on the side of the beef so I don't wash off all of my seasonings. Now move your pot onto the stove. We're going to turn this on high initially, bring it up to a rolling boil. Be sure to add your bay leaves. Once you've reached your rolling boil, cover the pot and move it to a back burner which you're going to set on low heat. This is going to simmer for 45 minutes to an hour per pound of brisket. While that's simmering, let's prepare our root vegetables. Take your potatoes and dice them into about one inch pieces. And likewise, you're going to do the same to the carrots. About an hour before your brisket should be done, take your root vegetables and put them in the pot. Now I had kept my vegetables in the fridge while this was simmering so I needed to bring this back up to temperature so I let it come back to a rolling boil 
before I covered it and put it back on the back burner. While that's simmering away, let's prepare the cabbage. We'll want to quarter it to make sure it's cored. And about 30 minutes before the brisket should be done, add the cabbage into the pot and then let it continue to simmer. And now it's done. From here, I'd suggest removing the meat from the pot, placing it on a cutting board, and letting it cool for a few minutes. Not for a long time, but for a few minutes. And then when you go to slice it, be sure to slice it on the bias or against the grain. This will make it a lot more tender and, and tasty. And there you have it, corned beef and cabbage. How easy was that? It's really, really simple to make, just takes time. You have to devote a little bit of time and effort to watching a pot. That's really all that's involved here. I hope you get a chance to try it, and if you do, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have an opportunity to give it a try. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button, and really, I'd really appreciate it if you try to subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment uh, about what you thought, and if you get a chance to try the recipe. As always, have a great day.